so let's say that we had a color that we were trying to color match to and we were getting pretty close to the color that we wanted but we needed to see variations of that color uh, in an array so what we could do is we have a a swatch books tool up here that we can use to build color arrays for checking values of colors of a specific color so up here we have our printer selection so we need to figure out what printer are we going to put this color on so we can pretend that we've been matching colors on our HPs and we want to select our quick set the media group we'll be using the vinyl we'll be using and also the print mode now <clears throat> We need to decide, do we have the lab values of the color available to us, or do we have a CMYK value that we have? So let's say we have a CMYK value of 10, 10, 20, and 30. Now this is a color that we've been working with for a while, and we need to see an array of this color. So if we hit OK, it's going to bring up a swatch book color array. So in this array, we can set the lightness variations between the patches. We can also set the we can also set a manual patch if we need to, but we can tell the swatch book how many rows of swatches we need, how big the width and the patch height will be, uh, and so we're able to get our goal is to get the device values of these colors and that's what the labels will be down at the bottom so once we have the amount of color arrays that we need we can hit print and it will ask you what page size you have we have a 54 inch roll so we will the print size will be 46.6 .6 by 8 inches and we will hit print the swatch book will then be sent to the print queue and you'll be able to eventually send this to print, get your color array, and eventually get the device values that you'll need to build out your custom spot colors.